Hi. And then so yes, so a dear shabby. There's your man, very man in the end there was a very man and apple, the African panacea of Team 2 AJ. Today is the day that the Lord has made, and um, today too we are going to share a very short and a brief message. Today's message is captioned the enemy shall return the stolen goals with compensation the enemy shall return the stolen goals with compensation i know that many other things that the enemy has stolen from you i know that the enemies has stolen your marriage they've taken your um, your money your tra your traveling issues everything in fact a lot of goodies that you have that you need to possess that the enemies have stolen but you know what there is some in the Bible, the Bible said that uh, upon my Zion there shall be a deliverance and holiness, and the house of Jacob they shall do what possess their possession. So don't worry, whatever thing that the enemy has stolen from you, you are going to possess it, and they will bring it back to you with a compensation. I know that this job belongs to you, yet the enemy has taken it. It is very pathetic. The last time I was saying this on radio, I said this, that um, it is very pathetic that you started a company with somebody and as the company is growing, now that you are supposed to enjoy from the company, now there was somebody that was employed in the company, the person has taken over your position. The person has been talking up behind you, tricking you, backbiting you, and due to that, the person has overtaken what you are supposed to take. But you know what? Whatever thing that the enemy has stolen from you, you shall possess it in the name of Jesus. Now let's read something from um, from First Samuel chapter five, the verse number one. And I read, and the Philistines took the ark of God and brought it from Ebenezer unto Ashdod. When the Philistines took the ark of God, they brought it into the house of Dagon and set it by Dagon. And when they of um, I's daughter arose early on the mor on the morrow. Behold, Dagon was falling upon his face to the earth before the ark of the Lord, and they took Dagon and set him in his place again. And when they arose early on the morrow morning, behold, Dagon was falling upon his face to the ground before the ark of the Lord, and the head of Dagon and both the uh, palms of his hands were cut off upon the threshold. Only the stamp of Dagon was left to him. Now listen. When we are talking about the Ark of God, the Ark of God is something which represents the presence of God to the Israelites. Hence, the Ark of God was something that was very precious to the Israelites. But there was a time that the Philistines stole the Ark of God from the Israelites. But you know what? The ark belongs to the Israelites and the, Philist the Philistines stole it from them and the Philistines were lamenting, crying. Um, the Israelites were lamenting, they were crying here and there because the, um, the thing that represents the presence of God to them had been stolen. Wow. The Philistines stole it from them. But you know what? There was something that happened. When they stole the ark of God, instead of them to put it at a place, they said that no, this ark has got a strength because it represents the presence of the of God to the Israelites. This means that it has a strength. And because of that, let us not hide it in the king's room or let us not hide it um, in the guest room. We have also got a God. And then their God was Dagon. Now, let us go and then keep the ark of God with um, Dagon so that Dagon will protect it so that no one can take it from them but you know what there was something that happened when the Philistines woke up in the morrow that is the next day early in the morning Dagon was fallen Dagon has fallen with her um, with it face facing the ground you know what? They lifted Dagon up. That was a first warning from God to the Philistines. But the Philistines were very recalcitrant. 
In fact, they didn't listen to um, God's warning. So they lifted Dagon and placed Dagon to, back to, his, uh, to its position. When Dagon was placed back to its position, the next morrow, they went and then Dagon's head, um, Dagon's hands, everything about Dagon was taken away. It was broken. The only thing that we could see from Dagon was its stamp. That is Nikuntun Sini Nana Aka. You understand what I'm saying? Now listen to me. The enemies are taking your goodies. The precious things. Those things that you are deserve, that you deserve to possess. The things that belongs to you. Your marriage. Your work. Your job has been taken by the enemies. And when they took it from you, in fact, they've hid it under one God. They've hid it under a tree. They've dug something and then put it in. But you know what? You have the God who is fighting for you. And then after this warning, that was when the Israelites, that, that was when the Philistines stood up and then they gathered, they had a meeting. They said, no. No, we cannot keep the ark here because a whole God is dead because of what has been taken, because of this ark. This means that we have to take the ark back to the rightful people, that is the Israelites. The ark doesn't belong to us, it belongs to the Israelites. So let us take it back to them and we cannot take the ark without not adding some compensation to it. In fact, there must be a sacrifice and that is what I'm talking about, that whatever that the enemy has taken from your job the promotion is yours and you deserve to possess this promotion but you are not getting the promotion because the enemy is sitting on your happiness but you know what you are going to be promoted and you shall surely be compensated with a salary increment that is what I am talking about surely you shall possess your possession Whatever thing the enemy has taken from you, you shall surely process it back. So, the people of Philistine took the ark back to the Israelites and then they added their compensation. That is their tithing. Their sacrifice was added to it. There will be a sacrifice because of you. In fact, there is going to be a banquet, a celebration. People that never regarded you. People that saw you as stupid. They are going to see you and they will bow down. They will bow down in shame. They are going to celebrate with you. Whether they like it or not, it could be that the celebration is not from their heart. But trust me, because God is with you, they are going to celebrate from with you, although it is not from their heart. And in them, they are going to be ashamed. They are going to see the good things that you possess. In fact, God is going to remove every veil that the enemy has used to cover you. Yes, indeed, you serve a God. Never worried. Whatever thing that you are going through, whatever thing the enemy has taken from you, you will possess it with a compensation. You know what? It is an error to just possess what you are supposed to possess that the enemy has stolen from you. It is an error. As a Christian, it is an error. If the enemy has taken your job, they must, um, if the enemies has taken your job, they must return it with a compensation. And the compensation is that there will be a salary increment. If the enemy has taken over your marriage, in fact, your marriage must be restored. And the compensation is that you are going to enjoy a good and responsible husband, a good and responsible wife. That is your compensation. That is what you must possess. Because God is with you. Trust me. The enemy can never withstand it. Because the Bible says that. He that dwelleth in me. He that dwelleth in me. Is greater than that of the world. So it is an error for the enemy to touch you. The enemy can never touch you. Because God is with you. If he that dwelleth is in me, is greater than that of the world. Look at me. This is me, very tiny. And the Bible said that he that dwelleth in me is greater than that of the world. 
this means that the word alone cannot contain me. In fact, my word cannot contain me. In fact, this word Ghana alone is too small to contain such a being like me. In fact, you have to say to yourself that Ghana alone is too small to contain you. Hence, the word must enjoy you as a believer. In fact, you don't have to only care out for their family, but you have to get it in abundance for your community to enjoy. Say hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, whatever thing the enemy has stolen from me, every stolen good is, they shall surely return it with a compensation. My name is Barry Mandy and there was Sabari Ma Nana Apple, the African Panacea of Team 2 AJ. This brings me to the end of the message. Keep on watching 2 AJ television. Thank you. <laughs>